Hello and welcome to another video for Miley's Touch Toys Games Collectibles. And today we are looking at um, a couple of items that are now very old and some of them becoming very, very rare. We are looking at the 1972 and the 1976 release of the making of Doctor Who, which was a paperback book. Uh, which focused on the making of the television series. Um, originally released in 1972, it was a Piccolo uh, book, um, uh, and it was obviously wrote, written by Malcolm Holgate and Terence Dix. Um, and it was obviously when John Pertwee was the Doctor, as you can see on the left-hand side, you've got John Pertwee there with a sea devil behind him. And then the updated version was released in 1976 and was a Target book. Um, and it says the making of Doctor Who, and it, again it is by Terence Dix and Malcolm Holkey. Uh, so it's just an updated version of the 1972 book, which is on the left-hand side. Okay, so they're the front covers of the two books. I'm just going to turn them over on the back, and let's compare what we've got on the back. Okay, so let's start with the early one, the 1972 version. And it's uh, you can see an image of John Pertwee as a doctor in uh, Bessie, the uh, Whomobile. It says, what happened when Doctor Who was put on trial by the Time Lords? What did he agree? Why did he agree to help Unit? This fascinating book tells you everything about the Doctor and his adventures, the points in space and time he has visited, the aliens and monsters he has defeated. One of the most famous and longest running BBC series of all time, Doctor Who depends for its success on the enthusiasm of everyone working on the show. Come inside the TV audio and meet them. Learn how the Daleks and the Cybermen came into being and how the special effects work. And what happens in Doctor Who often seems impossible, but is it? Could it all be true? OK, and then you've got the ISBN number at the bottom and the prices in the UK, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa and Canada. Bearing in mind this was 1972. And on the right hand side, the 1976 Target version. And it says, here it is, the story behind one of the television's most successful, long longest running shows. Come with Doctor Who on a trip through time to the early days of the programme when it all began. Meet actors, authors and television staff. See inside a TV studio and watch a production take shape. Learn the secrets of the monsters. Relive every Doctor Who story since the beginning. Follow the Doctor through four incarnations and perhaps begin to discover just who is Doctor Who. OK, that is the back of the... Um, books. I just we just have a very quick look at the splines um, to see what we've got on, this, on on there. So you can see you've got the making of Doctor Who, Terence Dix and Malcolm Holkey on the Target one, which is white, and on the um, 1972 Picolio one, it says the making of Doctor Who um, again by Hulk and Dix, um, and that is on the yellow background with white writing, which is why it's a little bit more difficult to read. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to open the books up and have a look at them uh, inside and we compare one to the other, I think. OK, so I've opened the first one, which is the 1972 version, um, and it says a Picolia original, Pan Books Limited, London, by arrangement with the British Broadcasting Company. Um, and it's the making of Doctor Who, Terence Dix and Malcolm Holkey. And it says, first published 1972 by Pan Books Limited, 33 Tothill Street, London, SW1. You've got ISBN number there, and it's to Terence Dix and Malcolm Holkey, 1972. Printed in Great Britain by Richard Clay, the uh, Chaser Press Limited, uh, Bangay and Suffolk. And it says, we, thanks, we wish to thank the following people who have contributed to this book. Charles Bowman, Catherine Dale, Jack Kine, Barry Lett, Sidney Newman, uh, Laureen Palmer, Palmera and David Whittaker. We also wish to thank the many other people who have helped with advice and information, and that's by Terence Dix and Malcolm Holkey. Okay, and the contents. So we've got The Making of Doctor Who, The Daleks, Who is Doctor Who, John Pertwee is, the doc is Doctor Who, The First Doctor Who was William Hartnell, The Second Doctor Who was Patrick Troughton, The Trial of Doctor Who by the Time Lords, The Travels of Doctor Who, the People Who Made Doctor Who, Inside a Television Studio, Diary of a Production, How to Make a Monster or Blow Up the World, A Doctor's Report on a Doctor, Could It All Be True, 
honest to Doctor Who and a glossary of words you may not know and the shape of things to come. OK, um, and it's, if you can see inside, it's mainly all text. There's a few little diagrams in there um, until we get up to the photographs. Um, and you can see you've got an image of William Hartnell as the Doctor and around the TARDIS console with Ian, Barbara and Susan. You've got the Daleks on Westminster Bridge. You've got the Ogrons and the Daleks and the Sensorites. Um, Patrick Trout as Doctor Who um, on the um, Himalayas with the Yeti. And there's Jamie and the Doctor. Uh, and then you've got the current Doctor at the time, which was John Pertwee. And he's there with the Dalek and Joe Grant. Um, and there's some Cyberman heads and some Cybermen at the bottom there. And then you've got the Master, the Brigadier, and the filming of the Sea Devils. Um, okay, so that's basically, the rest of it is pretty much all text. Um, so that's basically the 1972 version. Um, so let's switch over and have a look at the 1976 version. Okay, so I've opened up the 1976 version. And it, again, it says the making of Doctor Who by range of the British Broadcasting Company by Terence Dix and Malcolm Holkey. And this is the Target book, and it's published by the paperback division of WH Allen and Company Limited, which were responsible for the Target book. Uh, Target book published in 1976 in a revised and updated edition by, Terran, by Tandem Publishing Limited. This edition reprinted in 1980 by the paperback division of WH Allen and Company Limited, a Howard um, Wicker and Company, and the address there. Originally published in Great Britain by Pan Books Limited 1972, which is the version we, we've already looked at. And copyright 72, 76 by Terence Dix and Malcolm Holkey. Doctor Who series copyright, British Broadcasting Company 76. Printed in Great Britain, Richard Clay, The Ch Chaser Press Limited, Bangay, Suffolk. ISBN number and parts of the material in this new edition appeared in the Doctor Who Monster Book by Terence Dix, uh, Target Books 1975. And this is the titles we've got the contents we got in this one so it says how it all began enter the daleks who is the doctor tom baker is the doctor whereas in the other one it was john perjury is the doctor we've got three doctors monsters galore and the master the men from unit the good companion some regulars old and new the adventures of doctor who inside a television shoot studio 4a the diary of a production how to make a monster a new life for the doctor and the glossary television terms Okay, and this one is pretty much the same. Um, it's mainly text. Oh, you've got the thanks on this page as well. So uh, we wish to thank the following people who have given help with one or both editions of this book. So you've got Philip Hinkloff, Robert Holmes, Jack Kine, Barry Lett, Sidney Newman, David Whitaker, Jan Vincent, Rudsky, Stephen Payne, and members of the Doctor Who Appreciation Society. We also wish to thank the many other people who too numerous to be listed who have helped with advice and information that's Terence Dixon and Malcolm Hulky. and there's how it all began again but it's pretty much all text the same as the other one um, but let's have a look at the photographs in this one and see if we've got much much the same okay so it is a little bit different so the first photograph is from the fourth doctor's debut story uh, which is robot and features Elizabeth Slade and Sarah Jane Smith and the giant robot We've then got images of Hartnell, Troughton and Pertwee. And there's Tom Baker from um, Genesis of the Daleks saying, do I have the right? Um, the Brain of Morbius, uh, Cybermen again there from the 60s show. Davros as a still of Tom Baker with a Dalek and a still from the Pyramids of Mars at the bottom there. And we've got uh, The Seeds of Death, which is Sarah Jane and um, Tom Baker. And then we've got an, uh, photographs, uh, um, a publicity photograph for the three doctors with Trout and Pert, uh, with, yeah, Trout and Pertwee and Hartnell. And you've got Tom Baker signing autographs at the bottom there. And the last couple of pictures, again, you've got the monster from The Seeds of Doom and the same at the bottom there from The Seeds of Doom. Okay, and then the rest of it again is all text. Okay, so that is the two books and how they compare. 
1972 version and the 1976 version. Um, there is a lot of information that's the same, but there's also a lot that's different. So um, they're well worth having both versions of these books. So how well did they do? Well, yeah, back in 1972 and 1976, uh, Doctor Who was... A massive, massive program. It was humongous for the BBC. Uh, probably one of their top uh, rated programs in the country. Uh, regularly putting in millions and millions of viewers. Um, it was a time when obviously there was no things like video recorders um, or streaming or internet or anything like that. So um, for you to enjoy your favourite TV program, we didn't have very many documentaries made. Uh, there was one that was made, um, I think, during the, the making of The Talons of Wen Cheyenne. Um, but other than that, there wasn't very many documentaries about the making of the television programme. Um, so the books was the way to get an insight into the uh, production, um, the people involved in it, the stories, how they all come about and how it gets made from a um uh, an idea to a television show so these were great for us back in the 70s um, something that we really really wanted um, information on our favorite tv programs and how it all came together okay so they were mass produced they did do very very well they sold an awful lot um, but again being paperbacks they don't have a tendency to survive the test of time and uh, now you, you're talking over 50 years for the original one on the on the left hand side and we're talking 48 years for this one on the right hand side the uh, the revised edition um so we're fasting forward all that time are how readily available are they now okay well they do come up from time to time on the platforms more often the 1976 version than the 1972 version uh, don't get me wrong, they do come up from time to time, uh, but not very often. And condition on these books are always a um, a, a question mark. Um, because they were paperbacks, they usually have gone through a lot of wear and usage. And, and there's usually tears and rips and things to them. Finding them in this condition, like both of these are in excellent condition for their age, is very, very difficult. Um be very vigilant if you're buying them on the platforms because um, a lot of the platforms only show stock photographs and don't show the actual item that you're buying. So if you are intending to buy a copy on the platforms, make sure you click on the used icon and have a good look at the actual item you're buying so you're not disappointed or you receive something that you wasn't expecting. Um, or alternatively, we at Minus Touch have managed to find quite a few copies of these, both of these books which we have available on our Midas Touch website, which you can get to very simply by clicking the link below. It will take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find these and many other vintage Doctor Who items and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website and there will be something for everybody and I'm absolutely positive that this is something that you're not going to want to miss because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you are looking for, something old that you've never been able to find, something quirky you might want to buy for a friend, or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long-lost childhood memories, well, stay tuned, keep watching, you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for okay that is it for me on these particular items i do hope you've enjoyed reviewing these very old books with me thank you for watching and we'll see you again next video so bye for now